tubes and a roadrunner make it. Plymouth makes it. Hey everyone, it's Ian here, Matter Shred Media. Uh, we have another Mopar. There's a kind of a common trend here at the beginning is definitely Mopars. That's the we're definitely a Mopar family, but can appreciate all muscle cars. And I actually have a couple of um, non Mopars in the queue here that we're gonna we're gonna get on real soon, and they will be well worth the wait. And uh, anyway, so the one uh, the car we got up here is a 1970 Roadrunner 383 four speed uh, date code warranty block with the numbers matching transmission factory plum crazy purple car factory post car with the n96 factory option and it's a little dusty but it's just blowing the the dust off here for uh, from winter it's got the chrome on top of the doors that goes up to the the back chrome the, the m21 drip rail molding which is a again a unique option fitted with 15 by 7 magnum 500 this car originally had um originally had uh, steel wheels with the, the dog dish caps, chrome, uh, accurate exhaust, exhaust system with chrome tips, back spoiler added on. Here's a tier black four speed bench. Uh, TikTok tack that was added. It was a non tack car, but it was a factory uh, dust tail stripe car. It actually was factory with that. This car was really beat up. It had a hard life, but now, uh, what will be six years ago now, SAS Polytech Automotive Department and SAS Polytech Auto Body um, hit, did, the, uh, did all the restoration work to it, along with. Again, our good friend Bob Southall for Radical Restorations for some of, some of the final assembly uh, on this car. But again, turned out just amazing. I believe the mileage, since it's been restored, I have to look at the Odon, we had 944 miles on it in the last five or six years. So it doesn't get to see a whole lot of usage, but we're gonna hopefully rectify that. I'm gonna open up the air grabber, flick the switch. And here comes the fresh air with the shark mouth says air grabber on it. It's a red switch on the inside, ran by vacuum and there's a canister underneath that holds that vacuum. That's a reverse light for the four speed AM radio car. Fairly bare bones, I suppose, but uh, 355 gear, oh, sorry, 323 gear limited slip. All right, so there's our numbers matching uh, date code, I should say, date code correct, 383. With the high performance exhaust manifolds, there's your vacuum canister for the air grabber. Again, just needs to be cleaned up. It's uh, it's a full time job with all this. This car was actually manual steer manual steering, which it still has, and then manual brakes with front drums. Now, when uh, when we were putting this car together, being it's not a hemi car or a six pack car, we decided, well, we're gonna make it a little more drivable or usable, friend, user friendly. So this is my dad's car. So he wanted power brakes, which he got power brakes and he does wonder why we didn't put power steering in it at the same time, but <laughs> I'm not sure why dad, I really don't know, but beautiful car, fun to drive. Um, it's, uh, this, like I said, this car was in some really tough shape in its, uh, in its past life but again we just took it out just blew some blew some dust out of it we're gonna definitely get it a wash and i'll get another video um put up with this car in in motion of course but uh yeah just happened to be close by these cars today and i definitely wanted to get these videos out so everybody could see uh see what's going on there's a fender tag so again, not a whole lot of options, but that's the you know, Road Roadrunner wasn't the the high end. That's where you get into the GTX. There's far more options available, and again, these are like your budget your budget muscle car. Bare bones, just go. Uh, this one also has the uh, signal lights in the hood. And that's 1970 only. These uh, we did add. We added these. We I thought they were pretty cool. This one was not ordered with them, but we have the other insert plate that has the blanks. So 
if we ever wanted to do it exact exact we can go back to that way but there's really no reason you know that's the that's the big thing when you're doing these cars you know what within within reason I'm, i am a purist but if there's a couple of easy minor changes you know what it's your car you do what you want with it and that's uh and that's what makes these cars so unique you could you know back in the day when you can order these you literally could do what you want with them so again that was very very cool times unfortunately i this is not my era but i uh I fully enjoy these cars and hoping that the rest of you see these videos enjoy. And again, if there's something else in the cars you want to see that maybe I didn't show, just ask. I'm happy to uh, happy to show you any any such thing. So, like I said before, hit the subscribe button, a like, share. Take care and bye for now. All right, we're gonna go for a rip. Me and my co-pilot. Where's my co-pilot? Keegan. We're gonna go for a rip. All right, let's go.